In this chapter, we'll take a look at event delegation. Event delegation allows us to attach a single event listener to a parent element that will fire for all descendants matching a selector, whether those descendants exist now or are added in the future. So over here, if you take a look at the current HTML that we have, we're having a list of websites where our courses are offered. So let's consider a scenario wherein we want to, you know, just output the text of these anchor tags in the console window of the browser. So what we'll usually do, we could directly bind to the click event of each anchor using the on event handler method. So in our script, you can see that we are simply associating the click event using the on event handler and then we are calling a function we are we have named it as event handler and that is simply taking the text of the clicked anchor tag and outputting it to the console.log now while this works perfectly fine there are drawbacks consider what happens when we add a new anchor after having already bound the above listener so if i simply add a new list element like this over here and now when we run this in browser you can see that the earlier anchor tag that we had in this are working pretty fine but as soon as i click on this new link that we added after the on event handler was you know called in that case when i click on this one it will be redirected see so it's taking you to that particular website now this is happening because we have directly bound the event handler now direct events are only attached to elements at the time the on method or the on event handler is called. In this case, since our new anchor did not exist when on was called, it does not get the event handler. Now before coming on to event delegation, we must understand what event propagation is. For that we have to understand how events propagate. Anytime one of our anchor tags is clicked, a click event is fired for that anchor and then bubbles up the tom tree triggering each of its parent click event handlers so over here if i show you the anchor tag so first this anchor tags click event was called then allies and then ul that is this once and then the div container that we have then body then the html and then the document root that we have. This means that anytime you click one of our bound anchor tags, you are effectively clicking the entire document body. This is called event bubbling or event propagation. Since we know how events bubble, we can create a delegated event. So over here, we can simply rewrite the same function in this manner. So over here, you can see that all we have done is we have taken the event and then we are passing the selector over here and now if I run this one you'll notice that the newly added list item which is called after this event handler function or after this line gets executed as well in the very same manner as the earlier list items work let's click on skill bakery skill feed you doing you favor and now idiptic was added dynamically so if I click on this one can see that it's working pretty much the same way as the earlier anchor tags were working so notice here that we have moved the anchor part from the selector to the second parameter position of the on method the second selector parameter tells the handler to listen for the specified event and when it hears it check to see if the triggering element for that event matches the second parameter in this case the triggering event is our anchor tag which matches that parameter since it matches our anonymous function will execute over here this is the function that we are having we have now attached a single click event listener to our ul that will listen for clicks on its descendant anchor tags now consider a scenario what if we wanted to open the link in a new window if that link is an external one as denoted here by beginning with http so all the links that we are having over here in example is actually external link so we have modified our function over here and all we're saying is if the element that we have captured is having an attribute href which starts with http in that case just attach a blank target attribute so whenever that link is clicked it will open the page in a new window so if i run this one in browser 
and if I click on this one skill bakery or let's say udemy.com you can see that it's saying udemy.com and then as we have some things over here which is preventing it as with this method e dot prevent default so we need to come in this one and then this one as well because we are just opening it in a new window altogether so let's refresh the page now and click on udemy.com you can see that a new window has been opened and the site will load in this window udemy.com so to summarize we can say that event delegation refers to the process of using event propagation or event bubbling to handle events at a higher level in the DOM than the element on which the event originated. It allows us to attach a single event listener for elements that exist now or in the future.